see the world There's such a lot of world to see We're after the same Rainbows and Waiting round the bend What you doing? Writing. Good. Well, hello. What's wrong? I don't know. It's probably nothing. I want to see if he's still there. See if who's still there? What are you talking about? See? I noticed him yesterday afternoon. I didn't say anything. I didn't want to sound neurotic, but when he's there again today... Who do you think he is? Well, it could be anybody, of course, but what crossed my mind was... Suppose Bill's having us watched, huh? Okay. I'll take care of this. No. No, don't, please. Look, if that's what it is, you'll only make everything worse. I'll be careful. You wait here. Darling, please don't. I don't think you should. Now, take it easy. I just want to find out what this is all about. What do you want? Son, I need a friend. That's me. That's her. That's her brother, Fred. You're Holly's father? Her name ain't Holly. She was Lula Mae Barnes. Was till she married me. I'm her husband, Doc O'Lightly. Paul Varjak. I'm a horse doctor, animal man. Do some farming, too, near Tulip, Texas. Her brother Fred's getting out of the army soon. Lula Mae belongs home with her husband, her brother, and her children. Children? Them, sir, children. She's got four children. Now, son, I didn't claim they was her natural born, children. 
Their own precious mother, precious woman, passed away July the 4th, Independence Day, 1955, the year of the drought. When I married Lula May, she was going on 14. Now, you might think the average person going on 14 wouldn't know their own mind. But you take Lula May. She was an exceptional person. I'll tell you, son, she just plumb broke our hearts when she ran off like she done. Just plain had no reason. All the housework was done by her daughters. Lula May could just take it easy. I tell you, that woman got positively fat. What, her brother? He grew up into a giant. It was a sight different from the way they'd come to us. A couple of wild youngins, they was. I caught them outside the house stealing milk and turkey eggs. Lula May and her brother had been living with some mean, no-account people about 100 miles east of Tulip. She had good cause to run off from that house. Never had none to leave mine. What about her brother? Didn't he leave, too? No, sir. We had Fred with us till he took him in the Army. That's what I come to talk to her about. I had a letter from him. He's getting out of the Army in February. That's why I got on a Greyhound bus to come to get her. Lula May's place is with her husband, her children, and her brother. Huh? Surprise, McCracker Jack. You want it? Uh uh. Never could understand why that woman ran off. Don't tell me she wasn't happy. Talky as a jaybird, she was. With something smart to say on every subject. Better than the radio. Night I proposed, I cried like a baby. She said, What do you want to cry for, Doc? Of course we'll be married. I've never been married before. Well, <laughs> I had to laugh and hug and squeeze her. Never been married before. Listen, son. I advise you I need a friend. Because I don't want to surprise her or scare her none. Be my friend. Let her know I'm here. Will you do that for me, son? Yeah, sure, Doc. That's what you want? Come on.